check your let me check your level. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. One five seven nine two nine four eight seven five six six. Amsoil, the official oil, Sturgis motorcycle rally. Yeah, keep it close to your mouth, then I can keep it lower, and then the, 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 right, the noises from the bike are bothering less. Yeah, so it's good. Okay. All right. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm Stefan Simons, DW correspondent here in Sturgis, South Dakota. Uh, this sleepy town of, well, normally maximum of 7,000 people is awake for the next 10 days. There are 700, between 700,000 and 1 million visitors expected here. And all of them, as you can see right behind me, uh, motorcycle enthusiasts. That's what they want to be called. They don't want to be called bikers. And the motto, of course, here is Sturgis, the ride, the roar, the rally. Now, all right, let's talk about that ride and that roar and that rally. That rally lasts 10 days. Uh, there will be concerts and there's a lot of vendors here up and down the street and the side streets. Everybody who is something in the motorcycle business is present here, specifically Harley Davidson. And that's not product placement I'm doing here, but this is a Harley Davidson event, if you like. Why is that? Well, you can see right behind me and you can see maybe our cameraman can show uh, a few people here. This is not a super young crowd. Uh, this is... Um, you know, middle-aged uh, men and women who are like to cruise, to tour, to they have an aff affinity to Harley Davidson, as you can clearly see. You can, if you are know something about Harley Davidson and this iconic motorcycle, you have any kind of audio, Harley Davidson here from 30, 20, 40 years back up to now. The latest models is all here. Everybody who loves Harley, rides Harley, or has an affinity to motorcycling, is going to be here. Now, the only problem or slight problem maybe depending on who you ask is there is literally virtually zero percent of people here who are wearing a mask why is that you may wonder I don't know um, South Dakota has an in, a, a vaccination rate of 47 percent that means half of the people living in South Dakota and that's 800,000 tops uh, are vaccinated of course People here who are coming here, uh, they're coming from everywhere in the States uh, and beyond, actually, and abroad, from abroad. One way or another, it is fair to assume that you have a crowd here who does not like to wear a mask, who doesn't believe in mask wearing, and maybe not even so in vaccinations, which is a problem. Why is that a problem? Because you may have heard the Delta variant of the covid uh, virus, uh, coronavirus is raging through the United States. The United States had 100,000 infections uh, uh, the other day, and that is the a spike. This is uh, the top number, the highest number within the last six months. So there is some concern. However, it's not of any concern of the people here. By the way, those 700,000 to 1 million visitors who are expected to come this year will dwarf the COVID-19 year 2020 in Sturgis. However, 462,000 people made it here last year, ignoring all the warnings for this to be a spreader event. And again, the fear is 
now that this festival here, this rally, uh, will be a super spreader event for the Delta virus too. Uh, apparently nobody cares here. Everybody's uh, happy and uh, peaceful. And uh, again, masks, masks, or let alone social distancing, uh, that's not happening here. So I am, if my cameraman allows, um, I'm gonna ask a few people now for their opinion, why they think um, it's a good idea to be here without masks. It's definitely a good idea to be here uh, if you like motorcycling and Harley Davidson, then it's a fun event. There's live music and all coming up here. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to make this uh, and try to ask this. Sir, can I ask you a quick question? This is for DW, Deutsche Welle TV, international broadcast of public German television, 180 million households around the world. We're on YouTube right now, live. And I would love to know uh, or to learn from you if you have any concern about mask wearing a mask not being masked up here while in Sturgis none whatsoever why is that I have had COVID and I've had the shot oh there you go so you're vaccinated no problem yeah. for you then yes what about um, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot here and so that we get this clear but what about that I'm vaccinated too maybe they those guys are vaccinated too we can carry the full load even of the Delta virus and anybody we are like, when I'm talking to you now and I wouldn't be mass, ma uh, vaccinated or masked and you are not, I can give you the Delta virus. Is that a concern that you make others sick or do you think like, look, they know what they're doing? No, I have no concerns about it. The only reason I got the vaccine was because I do travel a lot, you know, and I plan to go back to international and such, but I have no concerns at all. Is it fair to assume maybe that a lot of people here are really don't care for masks or vaccine? I'm congratulations to you or good to you that you're uh, doing both. What do you think, ma'am? I don't know. I don't care. You know, if, if you're that concerned, stay home. But when it's less than two percent of the population that gets the vet, you know, that gets the virus and dies, it's not worth shutting the economy down and wearing a mask doesn't help, in my opinion. It's a bunch of government control. Did you get the vaccination or? Yes, I did. So you, you liked it? I didn't it. want to, didn't but I caved. What do you mean? Who, 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 pushed you? who pushed you? I just felt everybody else is like pushing for the vaccine for safety and stuff like that. So I, I kind of caved, but I won't get it again if they make me do it again. Peer I'm pressure. Another one. Yeah. I don't do the flu shot. I'm, this is my one and only COVID shot. That's it. Done. <laughs> so we, we talked to a lot of businesses and they're actually saying like they they of course like the business this is 800 million dollars Sturgis brings into South Dakota they need this they like that right um, the businesses here of course want your business and they say they're perfectly fine with people uh, like wearing masks and uh, or, or not but they would actually see maybe more masks so nobody gets sick and the economy stays where it is and can actually grow more is that something you could uh, uh i don't think the mask helps enough i don't think the mask helps enough to make it mandatory like that i, I really don't i think it's just a bunch of bull and what about the vaccination should everybody get vaccinated or no no you can't force people to do anything i don't do the flu shot you can't force people to get the covid shot like i say we're not talking 75 percent of the population that's at risk it's less than two percent same opinion, or did I see you uh, nodding when I asked uh, if everybody should be vaccinated for his own good and the other people's good? Well, there was actually just an article today uh, that was published by the New England Journal of Medicine that said strong-arming people is not going to get the country vaccinated. So I don't know what things are like in Germany, but in the United States, okay, we don't force people to do anything except obey the law. Uh, we have a constitution, and that constitution says we have the freedom to choose. And uh, whether you choose to be vaccinated or not, that's up to you, okay? So, um, you know, I'm not sure where you got your medical degree, but, um, you, you know, it... it, it uh, I swiping. Yeah. <laughs> I swiping. Well, I, I heard you quoting to this gentleman a bunch of uh, information about COVID, but... Well, well, that's publicly available to you, too. It's released every day. Yeah.
Anyway, I appreciate that. Thank you for your opinions. You're absolutely entitled to your opinions and to your way of life, of course. Oh, and by the way, we're not a bunch of middle-aged uh, people. We're what we are. And you and me are, so don't argue on that. You do? Yes. I talked to some guys who said, like, oh, look, I'm not a biker that has a bad connotation. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast. Yeah, I think old school's got the middle-aged outnumbered here. Okay, well, okay, old school and then middle-aged and then, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, so here you have it. Um, uh, first reporting a mistake by me. It's not middle-aged people here. It's old school, more old school than middle-aged, and then come the middle-aged people. But as you have heard, uh, this is um, this is a crowd who is uh, uh, not really signing up to the idea that everybody should get vaccinated or everybody should get, wear a mask. Uh, 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 although the people we talked to uh, got vaccinated, so uh, yeah, that's a little bit uh, wondersome and peculiar, definitely. Um, I leave you with a few impressions here, just. Uh, uh, enjoying that street view here. As I said, there is hundreds of vendors here. Uh, they come to town just for this uh, festival, just for this rally. And uh, and uh, uh, there's a lot of money to be made here. As I said before, here, Sturgis, a small town, about 7,000, roughly 7,000 people who really live here all year. Uh, and uh, this swells up to expected this year a million visitors. And they are bringing 800, up to $800 million into the South Dakota economy. Uh, and that is a huge number and important for the entire state. And that is why the mayor of the town here as well as the governor, Republican governor, GOP governor of South Dakota. Um, they are both uh, totally embracing uh, Sturgis, the festival, all the events here. The whole town is in this year. Half of this, or even more than half of the, all of this year is uh, organized by the city. Um, so, yeah, they're embracing this because they uh, smell the money, follow the money, um, even in Sturgis. <laughs> So what we're going to do now, we're going to walk up the street here a little bit. My cameraman, Chevy Roca from Spain, will pack up the Life View, our transmitter, so you can actually see this on YouTube, guys. I'll shoulder my backpack, and then we'll walk up and talk to a few more people here. Um, there it is. It was supposed to be a very sunny day. It was supposed to uh, be very, very hot. It is actually not that hot right now, uh, and that's a good thing. It, uh, and then we got news that it's going to be rain. What's that? We didn't mean to run you guys out. No, 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 no. We're not there. We're walking up the street a little bit, you know. As much as I appreciate your opinion and point of view, or maybe there's a few others too. That I'm going to gather those two. Yeah, Folks, nice talking to you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, you probably are. When I wear that mask, I'm getting not 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 only love to my hair. <laughs> yeah, I know that's true. Guys, thank you so much. All right. All right. Come on, let's go a little bit. Let's walk a little bit. You follow me? All right. Let's go. All right. The right, the roar, and the rally. Sturgis. Now, there are uh, quite a few characters on the road and on here in Sturgis. And I say this with all respects, really all kinds of people from all walks of life, from everywhere in the United States, some from abroad, 
come here. This is uh, for a lot of people a a lifetime thing to come here. Really, it's on the bucket list. That's what they want to do. They come here ten days to party, to uh, be with their friends, uh, ride their motorcycles, show off their motorcycles. It's a lot of show off the motorcycles. What is that? Hold on. Hi there. Sorry, I didn't hear. Tattoos are big here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. How big? What is it? Just give me Ridiculous. numbers here. Uh, I don't have numbers for you. Everybody gets a tattoo? When you... Pretty much, that's the thing. That's the thing, absolutely. Yeah. It's the thing to do when you get here. You got to mark it. The best thing to do, though, is to make sure that you're properly inebriated first. So you remember, you wake up and surprise that next day, see? Right. So it's a nice surprise for you. <laughs> you're your best friends. Yeah, right. absolutely. All right, do you, uh, can we go in and take a look? All right, let's see, let's see this. Super cool antique stuff, vintage bike parts, vintage bike gear, uh -huh. some old clothes, got, got a, a, a dress from an old hooker, I guess, or something. I don't know. It's all kinds of cool stuff. Well, let's check it out. Thank you so much. All right, so, uh, and that's, is it tattoo parlor slash souvenir shop? Or? Yeah, both set up. It's antiques. Antiques and tattoos. Whatever you want. Oh, there you go. Have it all. Thank you. All right, there you go. Oh, not even put the on you. oh, I think he did. We're we're uh, live on YouTube right now. Hello. I, Here, are you doing the tattooing? I am doing the tattooing. How many tattoos did you do today? I have not done any. I'm about to start my first one. We've only been open a few hours, but we're here for the whole rally. Our uh, shop in Florida, in Cocoa, Florida, is guarded by sharks tattoo. I have my A-team here. We're all excited. This is our first rally that we're working. Oh, it's the first time you're here? Yes. Yes. Otherwise, I would have... Uh, hilarious is this is all fake. No, it's actually live on YouTube right now. Is it really? Yeah, it's DW, Deutsche Welle. It's an international broadcaster, broadcasting 180 million households around the world. Well, look at my art, you guys. These are yeah. the That's great. There you go. There you Classic go. themes. Are you guys going to get it? No. Tattoos? No, sorry. We're going to pass on the tattoos and film a little bit more what else is here, okay? okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. There you go. Tattoos. Okay, on the other, there's another tattoo. There you go. Hello. And then on the other side, um, uh, there you go. Ooh, tattoo victim or customer, I should say, not victim. Hi there. What are we getting today? A tattoo, I know, but what? What triggered what triggered the uh, the need to have a tattoo today? I just wanted to do it. Oh, that's that's it's the best reason. It's something I always wanted to do. I just need to find the right person that's gonna. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, so so you can see it through the glasses because it looks uh, great, actually. Thank you. I wanted to tease him and say like, horrible! What is this guy doing to you? you spelled it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you spelled it wrong, right? No. Oh, uh -oh. did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I almost ran a picture frame over there with my backpack. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for letting us uh, watch this. And uh, yeah, this is for DW. This is a German international broadcaster, and you're live on YouTube right now. Oh yeah. Hey, can I shout out my Instagram? You shout out anything you want. And he spelled that right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Cheers. Now, sorry, let, let's look. DW.com. Just DW. That's, on, that's the channel. And there are the uh, antiques or shotskis, one would say. But look at, look at, look at. Nice. All right. Ooh. All right. Chevy, I think we should uh, go and move on from here. Let's do this. Very nice. Thank you very much for having us. Cheers. Love the head. Love the head. Look, 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 look. Look at that. Does it look good, Chevy? Too small. Too small. Right? Don't have a head head. I like the bikes, though. It's not for sale.
All right. All right. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Okay. Cheers. All right. Let's walk a little more. Let's walk a little more up there, and uh, let's talk to some more people. Find out what they're thinking on how they're enjoying it here. Let's ask this gentleman if I may. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm from DW. I have a quick question. Are you a resident here or a visitor? I'm a, I live in Spearfish. That's close by. Yep. Okay. Yep. 15 so, minutes away. 15 minutes. So basically, you're, you're local. Um, this is every year, right? It's, that's very important for the economy of South Dakota, is it not? It's very important for the economy of South Dakota. That's correct. Yeah. It's for locals, for people who live here. Is there concern regarding um, that many people, maybe not all of them, or likely not all of them, vaccinated or wearing masks? Any concern? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. What do you I, my thoughts are... Uh, I hope everybody gets vaccinated, but I know not everybody is here. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, look, as you can see, like I'm having my mask right here. I'm vaccinated too. You too, I, I oh, assume. Absolutely. Yeah. So, like, uh, it is. You, you. One collects quite a little bit of shaming if you wear masks here. Is that something? Is that something you experience too, or is that just <laughs> us, the news crew? No, I think you're correct. Yeah. It's a lot of peer pressure to not wear a mask here. A little bit of that, yes, absolutely, yep. And and I do not understand why. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty easy. It, it is not uh, too hard, yeah, yeah. Or or get a vaccination is also not too hard, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, you're you're gonna sit here ten days and watch the craziness, or is it craziness? I mean, in a good way. One day a year. <laughs> One day. That's all you can take. So I bring my bro my my brother-in-law. We sit here and enjoy all the people. That's the whole family. Masquerade party. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it, and uh, all the best to you and your folks. Okay. And where are you from? Uh, this is DW. This is uh, Deutsche Welle. That's a German international broadcaster. Oh, okay. Like, I'm originally from Sweden. Oh, from Sweden? Yeah. Originally? Yeah. First, first immigration. Uh, first yeah. Immigration. Yeah. Where from? Well, I was born in Stockholm and grew up about 250 miles southwest Great, of there. Yeah. All right. Okay, fellow Europeans, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. Have a Cheers. Good day. Bye bye, you too. All right. All right, now we'll just go walk a little bit until we um, maybe get into another business and ask for a few numbers in terms of what the expectations are are here because again let's not forget Sturgis motorcycle rally is all fun and games of course there's the concern mask no mask vaccinations no vaccinations people here are not generally inclined to a get vaccinated and or uh, wear a mask this is obviously visible here nobody wears a mask um, vaccination who knows but um, it's also a, a big money maker. Let's just ask if I can those two folks, see where they're from. Hi there, guys. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Hi there. This is DW, Deutsche Welle TV, and we're live on YouTube. Um, you're from uh, here, from uh, South Dakota, or somewhere else in the U.S.? Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. You came all the way driving down here? Yeah. With your bike? Yes. Awesome. How long did it take you? Oh, we've been on the road for a week. A week? Through Glacier and Yellowstone and a bunch of different places. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's great. Uh, the first time here at Sturgis or? This is my sixth time. Sixth time. Well, you're, you're, you're like a regular, though. Well, I don't know if regular. That's over 20 years or so. Yeah, yeah but still. Six times. You too? Six times here? No, this is my second. Second time. So you obviously love it. Let me ask you. Um, with, uh, I don't know if you were here last year. Last year, this event was billed as super spreader event. 460,000 people, COVID height, etc. Now, this seems to be over, but we have the Delta variant. And <laughs> is it just my feeling or, or a false impression that most of the people here, they don't even, they don't really say, 
care about a wearing a mask that's obvious nobody wearing it but uh, even getting vaccinated is that something you you see the same way or is that like no I'm absolutely wrong with that no I don't see it that way at all people here are probably vast majority of vaccinated they're outdoors which is the lowest risk you can have in the Delta variant if you're vaccinated there's no deaths reported and so get vaccinated take care of yourself and go enjoy the country I take it you are vaccinated yes you won't say. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. We gotta go. All right. Uh, one more last question. What what kind of Harley is it? Road Glide. Road Glide. What year? 2011. Renewed. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have a good day. All right. All right. Let's move on a little bit. All right, Sturgis, South Dakota, small town, 7,000 people live here all year long. And uh, this is the first day of the Sturgis rally, motorcycle rally, meaning between 700,000 and 1 million people are expected to come here. All of them, most of them, motorcycle enthusiasts slash bikers slash old school bikers who love to be called bikers and who love their Harleys. Most of the motorcycle um, you see here, the overwhelming majority are all kinds of Harley Davidsons. A few Indian uh, and uh, uh, Balkans and what have you, but most of all Harley Davidson. And people here, I think, are celebrating, I think that's fair to say, celebrating a very specific lifestyle they love oh look there's one from georgia i'm from georgia so that's why i'm pointing that out not that it's necessary or needed anyhow um i would love to talk to somebody ask how business is going here first day let's see nobody there what is it Bargain t-shirts, three shirts, five bucks, or something like that. All right. Um, you know, let's ask. Oh yeah, and by the way, a few stats more. There will be over the course of those 10 days uh, that uh, is experienced from the last yeah, 20 years. There will be hundreds of arrests uh, for uh, drunk driving, DUI, as well as drug use. <laughs> Happy crowd. What was that? Take off your mask and it's five dollars. Take off your shirt. So, since you're speaking about masks, is there no concern uh, about mask wearing or vaccination here? I don't want that camera on me, but no, I don't give a fuck. You have no problems, bro. A young and good health, why do you need a mask? Hey, turn the camera on the right here, bro. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I know that's, that's what you like to see. Right? That's not what I can put on television. <laughs> but anyway, okay, now let me ask you. So, I get it. Masks are very unpopular here. Um, and for people who are vaccinated, it's maybe, you know, makes sense. Well, why would I wear a mask, I've, right? I've been vaccinated. That, Good, congratulations to me too, and that's one. And I've had COVID too, so oh, both. Yeah, right, cool. So you're on the safe side. Right. So what about this reported problem that people like me and you who are vaccinated, uh, that we can carry the full load and give it to people who have not, not vaccinated? Uh, and of course, they then run the risk of getting severely sick. Is that something of your concern too, or no? Uh, no, I didn't know anything about that, <laughs> if we're honest. Okay. So, not my concern. <laughs> Not my concern. You guys from the region here or from from, uh, from different state? Or? We're from Georgia. From Georgia. There you go. I'm from Miami. Miami, Texas. Georgia. Georgia. I'm in Georgia. From Georgia. I'm from Georgia. I'm from Georgia too. We're, we're from Atlanta. Oh, same here. Yeah. yeah. Where are they? Marietta up there? What's that? Marietta, Cup County, or where? Yeah, right now there is. Oh, there you go. Same here. Well, anyway, so did you ride your bike here? No, we're RV. Oh, yeah, RV. Here. Oh, and then, rode, then brought the bikes. 
Don't want to bother you anymore. Enjoy your beer, okay? And the Sturgis Festival. Yeah, thanks. Fun. Thank uh, you so much for it. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Happy people. <laughs> Happy people all around. Lots of alcohol. Lots of drinking and what have you. Again, uh, uh, bringing this back quickly here. Uh, the, uh, there are hundreds, uh, there will be hundreds of arrests made by the end of this uh, festival here. Uh, uh, people will, some will do some drunk driving and uh, that's not going to be good. Uh, police is trying to uh, get those people off the street as well as uh, um, uh, some drug offenses. Well, uh, here is a very specific aspect of the Sturgis uh, Motorcycle Festival. It has nothing to do with the rally or with motorcycles. We are at a gun silencer tent. Guns, silencers. Maybe I can ask somebody in official about silencers. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you something for the W Deutsche Welle? And uh, we are live on YouTube. Silences, are they legal in uh, South Dakota? They're legal in 42 states. Yep, so they're not legal in Hawaii, California, Illinois, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Everywhere else in the United States, they're legal. And Washington, D.C. Not legal there, yep. Yeah. You, you bet. Um, are you selling just silencer technology? Or, yep, just or silence, yep, just silencers. And we do all your paperwork. We set you up with the free trust, do your fingerprints, photos, everything right here. Yeah. When you walk away from our booth, you're just waiting for the approval. We mail it right to your front door. So how is this, um, again, this is a European network, right? You International bet. broadcaster. You bet. It's for people who are not living in America or not familiar with this. You bet. It looks a little bit like, oh, what the <laughs> is going on here? Why would I, let's see, uh, let's say I'm a gun enthusiast, which you is bet. perfectly fine in America. Yeah. A lot of people have guns and like guns and shooting range and what have you. you but why would you need a silencer? Yep, so it takes away half your recoil, about 40% sound reduction, so you're not going to hurt your ears. You can ditch the hearing plugs. Anything with ours will get you under the hearing safe level. So you bet. Just protect your ears. makes it more enjoyable to shoot. Sounds about like this when you're running subs. Oh, okay. That's not much. That's not, <laughs> that's not loud. That's not, um, how is business going? I mean, I'd say, I'm just saying, like, you're here because you're selling those things, not because yeah. you're not selling anything. Exactly. You bet. Yep. For sure. Is that your crowd here? This is your. your yep. So we're based out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, about five hours away, and they're made right here in Sturgis. So this, ah, it's our home turf, you know. Ah, so you, you bet. And uh, the festival brings in eight hundred million dollars uh, for the local economy or for the state economy here. Uh, that's a big number, right? Is that is is Sturgis and other festivals you maybe attend to? Is this critical for your business to actually exist as a business? You bet. Yep. Trade shows is really how we got started, and that's that's what we like to do. You know, we like to go to gun shows, trade shows, anything like that. Get face to face with everyone. So, you okay. bet. Thank you for the information. One no question: problem. as as somebody, I mean, I live in this country for 20 years. I'm you an bet. American and and have a European passport. But as a European, I ask you. What is it with the love and passion for guns and Americans? Explain it to me. Explain it. <laughs> They're fun. They're just fun. Don't you know? <laughs> what? So, yes? Don't fun. tell me what to do. So they're also a statement. They're not just fun. There's a, there's so a statement. I'm into hunting. I don't treat stuff I don't take home and eat. That's what I'm into. But either way, don't tell me what I can or can't have. I like to protect myself. I like to put food on the table. I like to enjoy myself shooting. That's what it's about. Is anybody motorcycling too? Not here, no, no, not yet. <laughs> All right. I gotta work, I can't ride my bike. <laughs> All right, thank you guys, appreciate it. Huh? Cheers, thank you so much for it. There you have it. So, yeah. Guns and silencers and motorcycles seems to go a little bit together, at least here. That's not fair to say. There's different ways of enjoying motorcycling and probably also a different way uh, and ways of enjoying to shoot guns and this hello guys hi there can i have a quick can i have a quick uh, roll call who is vaccinated dallas texas bob davis this vaccinated? is my wife marianne vaccinated for me vaccinated, vaccinated? Yes. oh yeah yes marianne 
Dallas vaccinated. Okay, I got vaccinated. Yep. All come vaccinated. Great. Yeah. Buddy Bonk, Livingston, Texas. No. Texas, not we are vaccinated. not vaccinated. Nope. Oh. nope. Okay. So, ah, uh, now you're not, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but I have a question. Um, I'm vaccinated and I have my mask here. I should maybe wear it. Why should I wear it? Because new science says that I can make you very sick with Delta variant because I can carry the full load without knowing it because I have no symptoms because I'm vaccinated. Is that you can still get it too being vaccinated? Yeah, yeah I can get it, it but no symptoms, but with no symptoms, and you can get it not vaccinated. And we you, had have, it. Yeah. oh, you had COVID. yeah, we both had COVID. Yeah. And you didn't want to get vaccinated nope. after that? No, nope. wasn't that bad of an experience? No, nope. it was a bad experience, but not worth getting Which vaccinated. Over. Like the flu. Yeah, what is the explain to me? And this is an international network, I think people are interested to understand why a lot of Americans, and again, this is not a judgment, okay are opposed to this vaccination what is behind like no i don't want to get the vaccine because it's exper too experimental for me it's new no. it's too new i don't want to be a guinea pig no, then on the other hand they're saying like well 49 percent percent of the american public is vaccinated that's uh, 160 million people so then they don't get sick or have any 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 problems with the vaccine um, uh, Actually, is, is, we have a friend of ours. Her uh, niece took the vaccine and died within two days. She was allergic to it and dying. So yeah, I don't want to take that chance. So it's that it's a hesitancy because you it's my it's, it's my right, man. I don't I don't feel that I should have to do what the government says. You know, I'm not a sheep. I'm not going to be told what to do. I got rights. That, and that's absolutely legit. If you don't want to, yeah, nobody has exactly. to, nobody can force you. That's exactly. right, right, right. Um, but so with you, it's like a freedom. Uh, well, freedom and, and, and read the book, man. Everything, everything's happening in the Bible right now here today. So okay. read scripture. All right. And and for you, it's also it's too new. You yes. don't really, you're not That's, really yeah. sure if this is uh, something you can really trust that it you stay healthy or makes you healthy. That's exactly right. Okay. What if there's FDA full approval coming in the next few months? Would you consider it then when the FDA Possibly. approves? It? Possibly. You say no. 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 Because you don't really care about that. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. He has a different point at it, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, guys. Thank you so much right. for you're talking welcome. to us. Really appreciate it, Not okay? And that you're open about this, too. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to go forward now and ask you. Uh -huh. Vaccinated? Yes. Vaccinated. Good. I am vaccinated. vaccinated. Yes. Wow. I actually had my brother passed away from COVID, and I have a brother who's had two kidney transplants, cancer, and other stuff. So, of course, I'm vaccinated. But I don't believe in this people that aren't vaccinated, that are dictating, starting us to wear masks and stuff again, when uh, I think we ought to name them as like Nazi people or something, no. personally. No. I, I believe in it. And that's, that's, uh, you're absolutely entitled to your point of view and opinion of this and, you know, and reasoning, of course. And I don't, I don't uh, um, take that away from you. My question is, though, um, what is, is, is wearing a mask symbolizing something which it is actually mm, or shouldn't? For you, like, is it, is it, is it like a, it's the mask which I'm having here at my wrist and not wearing uh, while talking to you? Is it, is it, a, is it a, a something of oppression or something or, or, or? I did wear my mask until I was vaccinated, and once I was vaccinated, I should be okay without it. Right. But because of this new Delta and these people that didn't get vaccinated, they're dictating how the rest of us now have to live right. if masks come back in full force, which isn't right. right. They should be the ones named, not us. Right. Right. So um, I get it. Your point is like, look, I'm vaccinated. I don't have to wear the mask. I'm not getting sick of the Delta variant. And if I, if I carry it, fine. I'm not having any symptoms. I'm not going to die from it. If you are uh, uh, choosing not to wear a mask, then it's your own risk. That's it. That, then you're responsible for that? That's correct. Yes. No? You are responsible yeah, you, you be yourself. responsible for yourself. Yes. Don't impose on me. Yes. Don't impose it on us. Yeah. yeah. All right. And how do you like Sturgis in the festival? Absolutely love it. Love it? Always have, always will. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's yeah. not the first time here, I see. Absolutely not. How many times have you been here before? Fourth time. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Uh,
return candidate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Have fun, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, right. thanks. Bye bye. All right, there you go. Uh, yeah, I, to be honest, uh, I think if people here are not really talking about uh, vaccinations or, or mask wearing, but that is just not an issue here for this crowd in majority, I think. What I mean by that is that uh, when we ask them, they talk to us about it, but it's not that they uh, have... Um, should I wear a mask or not wear a mask? Should I get vaccinated or should not get vaccinated? That this is an issue for them uh, uh, in their in their conversations. They, uh, I think, uh, have signed up to have uh, a lot of fun here and and, and um, go with their passion here and enjoy motorcycling and everything around it. And there's a lot of around it. Um, and again, uh, that is uh, that's that's my impression here. Let's. Turn around and ask for a few lumps. You, you're walking right into my microphone. Come here, please, for a second. Okay, you're not sure you? I'm the person you want to interview. Oh, yeah, I am. I am the person I want to interview you. So, my, you do you want to pass on or be this background? Is my group. This is there you go, group. then the group is They're coming. Confused. So, my question is to you um, I talked to a lot of people here so far. Hi there. And most of them are a little bit older. Okay. Middle age. Okay. You seem to be younger. I'm probably on the younger of the spectrum. Right. Sure. Younger. So, what is your fascination of Sturgis uh, motorcycle rally for younger people? Um, I wouldn't call it a fascination. It's it's a motorcycle culture, and I have a DOT course to get to ride my bike, and I'm going to buy one this fall. And uh, I grew up in the Midwest, and so it's. Uh, it's your first time here? Yeah, first Sturgis. Yeah, okay. just got my vest. Now, how do you like it? Seriously, like, I, I'm a motorcyclist too, so I, yeah. I know what you. I'm I'm like just getting into it. Um, my friends ride a lot. I I love it. Uh, I don't know if I. Th there's definitely a culture and there's a niche to it. I don't know if I fit into that niche, but I'm a motorcycle fan and enthusiast. So here I am. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Then one more question, and then I let you go. Not age specific. Motorcycles are not age specific. No, of course not. But our experience this year, and from what we see, is like it's more of a. A uh, middle-aged group who is uh, and predominantly male and middle-aged, and and they are here and enjoying this. But there's nothing new to this. But what about uh, Delta variant mass vaccinations? Is that a concern for somebody uh, of your? For me personally, yeah, uh, it's outdoors. That's great. Uh, we've been keeping our distance where we can. That's great. Um, it's something to take really seriously, and each person has their own opinion, and um, it's definitely on my mind. You're vaccinated. I am vaccinated. No mask? I do have a mask with me and I wear it when I feel like I want to in certain scenarios, but I so think I, to, each, I, to each their own. I do have to I split got, them. No, but one more thing. I, I tell myself too that I wear it when I want to wear it, but it actually is a lot of uh, mask shaming going on, at least for us. Did you experience that too? Like you pack out a mask and people you know, go like... It's just the beginning and each person has their own thing and everyone here has been so friendly. Um, well, no bad thing. feelings or vibes so far. Okay, cool. so. Thank you so much. Yeah, what do you guys, who are you with? Uh, DW, German international broadcaster, awesome. 180 million uh, households around the world, and you're live on YouTube. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, somebody explain to me what that is. This is amazing. Look at that. There you go. That's Sturgis for you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Oh, guys, you gotta, you gotta. Hi, hey there. This is this is amazing. Um, tell me the story behind this. Okay, my, my, uh, I was a Harley rider most of my life, and then I decided to go to the Indians seven years ago. My grandparents they did a lot of hunting and everything like that back in the day. I was never one into hunting or harming any kind of animals, and then I just put all these animals to good use, and uh, they they were in my grandfather and my daddy did a lot of hunting so I put all these animals to use I put them on my bike the Indian because yeah. I fell in love with the Indian and their spirit just rides through the grizz you know so I think they're still alive and it makes me feel alive yeah I get you know, it because I won't I, harm nothing and then uh, I also uh, donate a lot of money to the animal shelter because I have dogs and everything like that that I love and a lot of the dogs were abused and people don't even realize how bad it is out there you yeah. know uh, because so many dogs, uh, after a while, they're just put down because people just, they don't have the money to support them and everything like that. And we, we 
so this is why I do this, what I do. So I am talking to a dedicated Indian rider who loves the lifestyle of being a motorcyclist, who puts uh, animal skin and animal parts on his motorcycle, but not to uh, endorse hunting or killing animals, but to no, help animals. Right. Is absolutely, that right? Absolutely, sir. Yes, I sir. Summarize that correctly? Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't have said it any better, sir. Oh, hey, thank you so much. But it's not about me. You know, the, right. you are um, a very fascinating. And, uh, uh, you know, of course, people will think like, wow, what a character. It's so it's so great. Your, your uh, uh, necklaces and the, the bracelets and all of that. This is this is great. You guys are you guys are together. This, I, is, I my, my this is my sister oh, Kathy, oh, and go. we've been doing this for many years now. You know, it's something we really believe firmly in. It's something I like to do. I'll tell you what, because if we can't help them, who is going to help them? Right. You know. So this is I really I'm strong strong. And it's not only one up, but we donate to a lot of the shelters. You know, and I like that. You know, and different organizations and everything like that. It helps and everything like that. Because like I say, they can't come out and do it. Right. And, yeah. And, and and bikers are just really understanding, and it's, I couldn't say it any better. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, it it, uh, it it translates to the crowd here, right? right. I mean, oh my gosh, yeah, it's just beautiful, you know. And they understand and everything like that, you know. And I just love what I do, and so is my sister. And I love the people here in Sturgis and the bikers. I couldn't be in a better place. Are you from here or? Are you no, from sir. Here? I live in Arizona. Arizona. You came up all the way here with the bike from Arizona. No, but I trailered it. Oh, with the trailer. I'm 72 years old. Oh, wow. Those okay. days, I, you know, I mean, I used to do it, but yeah. you know, now I got like a back issues. <laughs> right. I understand. <laughs> but it's all good. Though, How you know? old is the is the bike? The bike is eight years old, sir. Nice. Nice bike. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, what's your name? Grizzly. Okay, Grizzly. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Oh really my gosh, not it. even a problem, sir. I'll oh, tell you what, you. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. I would love to have taken oh, okay. well, we'll this because enough. I have the microphone. Okay, <laughs> 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 we'll do one thank and you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Happy surges. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. All right, Grizzly. That was Grizzly. Amazing. Yeah, only in America, maybe. Or only in Sturgis, I don't know. We are in Sturgis, South Dakota. The Sturgis Motorcycle Rally expects over the course of 10 days, 700, between 700,000 and 1 million people will be here, all of them, one way or another, attached to or attracted to motorcycles, motorcycling, and to Harley Davidson, and to the lifestyle of motorcycling. Um, there is, of course, not a statistic about how or if uh, uh, this is a conservative crowd or uh, but we have seen of course and keep in mind all those vendors are here because they know they make money here and we have seen t-shirt vendors and other vendors who sell caps and and uh, shirts and and um, uh, and, and other um, clothing with Trump uh, for president 2024 and uh, um, uh, other slogans against uh, current president Joe Biden or um, uh, top U.S. Um, infectious disease expert uh, Dr. Fauci. So not everybody is a fan here of uh, the current president or the CDC or um, uh, 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 well maybe Democrats, but uh, that is speculation, of course, and not really proper reporting here. It's an impression, and I really want it to be understood like that. Okay, one last one before we take a break here. I would love to talk to the police officer and ask something. Hi there. Can we ask you quickly something? We, we can ask you something? Why not? Okay, how many people do you expect to come to Sturgis? Do you have a PIO? Where is he? Point him out to me. In there? Oh, I have to go in there? All right. You don't talk at all, right? Not yes, no, maybe. All right, good. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow, friendly folks. <laughs> They're just nodding. They can't speak. Have you ever met police officers who can't speak? Maybe he can. You met two of them. <laughs> Hi there. Can I ask you something? Where's the PIO? PIO? Yeah. In there? There might be in there. Do you, does anybody know how many people are expected to come to Sturgis? We read 700,000 to 1 million. Yes, I don't know. It's, it's yeah, a guess. I mean, after, 
After there's 300,000, it don't matter. It's just jam-packed. <laughs> You're doing this. You guys go this, through this every year. How, I mean, you're obviously a pros in it because you're doing it every year. You have a, you have a experience in it. But is it is it a little bit nerve wracking still, even for for oh, yeah. you guys? Management pros. The the pros are the uh, the the heads of your your local departments and your state departments. Those are the ones that are pros at this. They they do an excellent job of managing all this. Stuff. Yeah, they put it together yeah. and we just hang on. Yeah, we just put the week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's wrap it up for now. We can do this again. Uh, if somebody watches this on YouTube, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I'll be here with my cameraman, Chevy Roca, until Sunday. So tomorrow we will be uh, probably on television and we'll file a report later, too, about our experiences here and... Uh, who we talked to during the course. And now it's actually starting to rain. Weather turned bad actually now. Ha ha. Uh, the weather gods are against us. Goodbye and good luck and uh, greetings from Sturgis, South Dakota.